Oh. oh. Oh, hey, Kaylin. Hey, Brody, where are you going to in such a hurry? I'm going to the new pool that's opening up. What else? The new pool? What's that? Come check it out with me. We were given the amazing opportunity by the great people at Strathcona County to get a sneak peek of the Emerald Hills Leisure Center, which will be opening October 1st. Monica, the head operations manager and our trusty tour guide, showed us some of the amazing features of the pool, namely its design, innovativeness, and accessibility. So what does the operations supervisor at the Leisure Center entail? Like, what do you do kind of thing? If you were to summarize my job in a nutshell, uh, my role is to keep the pool staff safe and my job is to keep our guests safe. Um, so as the rec operations supervisor, I supervise the people who supervise the lifeguards and I supervise the people who supervise the front desk. An interesting feature to the community will be the Universal Change Room, which gives a safe, open space for families, those who identify with LGBTQ+, and those with special needs. Is the pool designed more for swim teams and lessons or activities like free swimming and aerobics? Well, the pool has been designed for program use. So for swimming lessons, for aqua aerobics, uh, for lane swimming, for walking lanes, uh, and for uh, some public swim. But the better public swim areas are now the Kinsman Leisure Center and Millennium Place. Uh, we will have lessons here seven days a week. Josh has been working in the aquatics field since 2001 and his job is to manage programs and give the people of Sherwood Park something fun to do seven days a week. Uh, we offer a fully inclusive set of programs. So what that means is all of our programs are able to meet and adapt to the needs of our students. We have a dedicated special needs program called Red Cross Swim Adapted, and that allows us to get uh, really close to our students in the class because the ratio is low. It's two to one right now. We're looking at expanding our adapted programming as well into offering some maybe low stimulus time slots down the line. And then all of our programs, people can come in. We have folks that come in with AIDS and join, uh, you know, a, just an average Red Cross Swim 2 program. Uh, we also are able to adapt all the skills because the Red Cross program is incredibly able to adapt to people's needs. The purpose of the pool is made for lessons and programs utilizing new technology such as an adjustable depth pool and an unbeatable filtration system. The Emerald Hills Leisure Center's filtration system is salt-based, which means that sodium chloride is added into the pool and split up into sodium and chlorine. My job is to manage the program team. So we're in charge of a lot of the experiences that happen once everyone's paid and come into the water. So we're not operational in the sense of getting the building ready, but once the people are here, what do they do? So for swimming lessons, we actually have um, well over 18,000 people before we open this pool that were registered with us every year and we're looking forward to growing that and, and just kind of being bigger and badder in the in the future here with two facilities. With 1,800 people already registering for programs at the Emerald Hills Leisure Center, it's a very busy job for Josh. It certainly looks like the Emerald Hills Leisure Center will be ready for their grand opening come October 1st. Wow, that was an awesome opportunity getting to check out the new pool. What do you think, Kaylin? Honestly, I'm just really looking forward to having a place to like swim in, hang out in, push people, I mean, splash around in, right next to the school. Yeah, and a special thanks go out to Monica and Josh for answering our questions, and to Elizabeth, Mrs. Smith's awesome sister, for letting us get this sneak peek. That's all we have for you today. I'm Brody. And I'm Kaylin. Swim with the fishes, ABJ. I don't think that means what you think it means. Oh yeah, no, you're totally right. Hey, can I see your mic for a second? Oh yeah, no problem. <laughs> Thank you.